Hi, so today we're going to be looking at uh, estimating the area under a curve. This is a topic that is tested at GCSE, although it's tested slightly differently. At GCSE you will always be given the curve, and the thing we will need to do is do a lot of reading off from the graph. On this specification we might not be given a curve, we may, we may get a graph similar to GCSE, but we may also get a question like this one where we have no curve drawn. And the other difference on this specification is that the use of the trapezium rule is required. Now, the trapezium rule is not on the GCSE specification. If you used it to answer one of these questions, that would be fine, but it is not on the specification, so it's not expected. It is expected here. So we've been asked to use the trapezium rule to find an estimate for the region under the curve y equals 8x minus x squared plus 16 uh, between the values of x equals 2 and x equals 8 and the x-axis, so it's defining the region that we're interested in, and it's asked me to use four strips of equal width. Now, like with most questions, certainly if we've not been given any kind of diagram, a diagram is really important to understand what's going on here. So I'm going to draw a quick diagram, a quick sketch of this graph, so I know exactly what I'm dealing with. This is only a sketch, so that's why I've not got my ruler out. So we've got x and y, we've got the origin. Uh, I know it's a negative quadratic because it's subtract x squared there. It's got a y-intercept of 16. So it's going to look something like that. And I'm not too stressed about exactly. I'm interested in looking at the region under this curve between x equals 2 and x equals 8. So I'm going to mark them on. So there's my x equals 2. And we don't need to be, as this is just a sketch for our own I'm good. We don't need to worry too much. There's x equals 8. And we're interested in between these two lines under the curve and the x-axis. So it's this region here in the middle that we're interested in. Next thing it tells me is we need to use four strips of equal width. Now, I need to work out how wide each of them strips are going to be. First thing I need to do is look at how wide is the region I'm interested in. Well, it's running from x equals 2 to x equals 8. So it has a width of 6. I'm splitting that into four equal strips. So each strip is going to be 1.5 wide. Okay, so if I now then put in these values, and it's going to be four equal strips, the four values. So we're going up in 1.5. So this one here will be 3.5, 5, and 6.5. Now, if I then draw in the vertical dotted lines here, I'm going to work out an estimate for the area by working out the area of the trapezia that we make. We make with these four strips under the curve. And we do it using the trapezium rule. Now, to use the trapezium rule, I need to know what the value of y is for each of these key values. So I've got five. I've got x equals two, 3.5, 5, 6.5, and 8. Now, on GCSE, we would read these values off from a graph, so we'd look up and read across. Here, we can't do that because we don't have an accurate graph. As you can see, my graph's not entirely accurate. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call each of these five values that I'm interested in A, B, C, and D. And rather than generating these values by reading off from the graph, this time we're going to get these values by using substitution. We're going to substitute each x value into the function we've been given. If I just slide my paper up, you can see the function is given here. y equals 8x minus x squared plus 16. So I'm going to substitute these into that function and generate my values for, for them. I'm going to use in the trapezium rule. So when x equals 2, y is going to be equal to 8 times 2. Subtract 2 squared plus 16, which gives me 28. When x equals 3.5, y is going to be equal to 8 times 3.5. Subtract 3.5 squared plus 16, which comes to 31.75. When x equals 5, I've got y equals 8 times 5. Subtract 5 squared plus 16, which comes to 31. When x equals 6.5, y is equal to 8 times 6.5. Subtract 6.5 squared plus 16 which is 25.75. And then finally, when x equals 8, y is equal to 8 times 8. Subtract 8 squared plus 16, 
which is equal to 16. Now, we then need to be able to state our trapezium rule to be able to use it. So trapezium rule states that the area is equal to a half multiplied by the width. So that's the width of each strip multiplied by, and then we've got our n values, a and e, and then two lots of the middle values, b, add c, add d. Now, the reason it's two of these is because the value, if we look at the value here, this is a, the value we worked out for b, that value is in this trapezium, but it's also in the second trapezium as well. And likewise, this value, which was we read off here for c, is in the second strip and also in the third, and so on. Now, all we need to do is substitute our generated values into this expression and pop it all into my calculator. So that's a half times the width of each strip, which we calculated earlier to be 1.5. And then A is 28, E is 16. And then we have two lots of 31.75 plus 31 plus 25.75. All that into my calculator, we get an answer of 99.3. Seven five. That's my final answer.